It is said that Nero burned Rome's entire supply in tribute to the wife he had murdered. And we sprinkle it on toast. It's ground cinnamon, and Jack's <laughs> going to tell us which brand is best. There will be no fire. No one will be hurt. These are rice puddings with a lot of cinnamon. You cannot actually taste cinnamon right from the jar. This is really about, does it matter where, and in this case, what country, your cinnamon comes from? I know a little bit about you, and I know you like that spicy Vietnamese cinnamon. So do I. It's got much more of the volatile oils. We did lab work on all the different brands that we tasted, and the Vietnamese had the most volatile oils, mm. four and a half to five and a half percent of the content was basically the flavor components. And a lot of them are, in addition to woodsy and floral, just heat. Most cinnamon that we get that's just labeled cinnamon comes from Indonesia. And so that has roughly two to 3% volatile oils. And so it has more of the floral notes, the woodsy notes, it has a little bit of spice, but it's more balanced. And then there's something called Ceylon cinnamon, which is really very unfamiliar to most Americans. And it doesn't have any heat whatsoever. It just has those floral notes. And it's delicious, but it seems, well, this isn't cinnamon. So you've got four samples here. Very that, happy about this tasting, I have to say. Yeah, I mean, it's rice pudding. As I said, we put extra cinnamon, probably more than you would want to use yes. if you were actually going to eat a full portion of these, <laughs> so that we could really taste the cinnamon. This is the easiest way to tell the differences. Once you start baking mm -hmm. with any of these cinnamons, the volatile oils are so volatile right. that they bake right off. And you get the woodsy notes and the floral notes, but those spicy notes disappear. So anything that you are immediately reacting to, gravitating to? This one has a fruitier taste. I'm getting actually, it tastes a little like cardamom. Okay. Which is very interesting to me. It's surprising how much flavor cinnamon has, especially in this application, because we're used to it probably mostly in baking. Right. It's got sort of a shadow of itself once you bake with it. But in this case, you can really taste how much flavor is in there. Yes. So you thought one of them was a little, you said, reminded you of cardamom. Mm -hmm. Now the other three? They're all actually really, really good in terms of rice pudding. This one, though, has the least amount of flavor to me. These two so far are my favorite. And with each bite, I'm changing my mind. And what's different about the two that you think are the best? You don't know. You're just going to keep I, going? You are I'm actually... really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> this is so interesting because I actually keep two different types of cinnamon on hand. And you keep two types on hand because? I like spicy, uh, Vietnamese spicy for things like curries. And then I have just a kind of a plain cinnamon that I keep on hand for baking and things like cinnamon toast, things right. like that. Okay. I think I like this one. It's definitely forward to me. I like that it tastes like cinnamon. The, this one is very nondescript. This one has a, a fruitier flavor. I really like a bold cinnamon, so I'm not as crazy about this. This is my first place. This is my second place. All right, but I notice you're still eating. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, I'll put the spoon down. Back away from the rice pudding, Bridget, right? All right, we're going to see right. how you did. I am very impressed. You picked the Vietnamese cinnamon. This is from Penzi's. This was our runner-up. Our tasters loved it. The people who really wanted a bold, mm -hmm. spicy cinnamon, people like you, yes. that put this at the top. Excellent. But it's a really great choice. It has the most volatile oils of any of the brands that we tasted. It's a very strong cinnamon. If you like cinnamon, that is the one. And you want to go with my runner-up? Uh, and this was the winner. Oh, and this is great. Morton and Bassett. This is from Indonesia. Mm -hmm. It's an all-purpose cinnamon. It has a nice flavor. It isn't quite as strong as the one you chose. Right. But it's delicious. It's really well balanced. Really very well. well balanced. All right, let's go with Mr. Cardamom. I'm impressed. This is the Ceylon cinnamon, which has a totally different flavor. Mm -hmm. And as you said, it reminded you more of cardamom. Yep. It doesn't really taste like the cinnamon that we grew up with because right. it comes from a different species of the evergreen tree. Okay, and? This was the only one we did not fully love. It's Indonesian, but it's processed with soybean oil. Oh. And so it has a little, little bit of a duller flavor right. because the oil kind of mutes the flavor and you don't get quite as much cinnamon hit. Mm -hmm. It has a very low amount of volatile compounds in it. And so it is the only one we only recommended with reservations. I it's not see. bad cinnamon, right. but it's not great cinnamon. Right. Well, there you go for a great tasting cinnamon that's nice and forward, but still balanced. Go for our winner. It's the Morton and Bassett Spices Ground Cinnamon. It's $5.99 for 2.2 ounces. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.